Well, um, as Laurie said, apart from the oneness of God, the oneness of religion, and the oneness of mankind, um, my problem was um, certain teachings like um, heaven and hell, life after death, and those those type of the teachings, you know, confession and so on. No, I I I was always disturbed about these things, especially um, life after death and heaven and hell, mm -hmm. because of my relationship with certain other um, religious teachings, you know, I couldn't accept those things. And when it was explained so clearly in the Baha'i faith, I think those are the type of things that really attracted me. How about, how about Eleanor, the idea of equality between men and women? Was that attracted to you particularly? Oh, yes, that was, you know. But um, at the time when I accepted the Baha'i faith, I was pretty young. And um, I think what what was most on my mind, I think because to have an experience I had when I was maybe about 10, I um, went to, I think it was the um, Gospel Hall Church or something like that. And um, they explained a situation where this, um, they showed a slide or flame in the college in those days where the people were burning in hell. Why do people yeah, you know, they show you that the sinners who would be born in hell and those who was uh, was not sinners would be caught up in a, a slide. You know, they have these pictures, keep right. showing, it's flim, they keep rolling. Uh -huh. And at that tender age, I think that disturbed me a lot, you know, because I always wonder if I would be burned in hell. Mm -hmm. And so I, um, that because of my experience, I think when I got to know the Baha'i faith, apart from the other stuff, I think that stuck in my mind. So heaven and hell and life after death was very important to me.